Eric. You told me you love me. You liar. You liar. I stab you. Um. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, bros? This is G Pam Gee here, and. I'm guessing you guys were wondering what the heck that was all about, and, um, I don't know, I was just bored, I couldn't come up with the intro, but that's not what it's all about. Um, but, I bet you guys were wondering, how do I keep stuff organized when I'm this busy in Epic Constructions? Well, obviously, I have all my props on the floor and stuff, but usually, uh, I keep my action figures intact. Let's put my boxers right there. They're clean, I just need to put them away. Okay, but, um, the thing that I need to be most organized about is my, um, scripts, posters, etc. So I made a file. See? YouTube channel, scripts, posters, etc. See? Epic film, structures, documents, faults. Now what this basically is, is basically, um, a big file of a bunch of scripts. And uh, music lyrics and stuff. So let's take a look. See, the first one I have here is the um, Epic Films Productions recap of 2012. Yes, guys, I actually did have a script ready. I did actually make a video about it, but you know about that already. So, you know, the uh, uploading issue thing. And I had to, to override it with a little stupid thing. If I didn't override it, then I'll probably post the uh, actual skit. Um. The USS Enterprise Snow script, and I actually combined this with another script that I made, um, an Epic Fools Christmas. But I already had this, so I just didn't want to use this, so I made another. Hold on, one second. Okay, so I right, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm filming this in my, in my room right now. Parents are making a lot of noise. Okay, so basically we have all of these here, so let's go through them. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see. This is the story ending opinion episode one. If you haven't seen that, go to my, um, new movie channel. Um, you can see that there. It's basically what I said the whole movie, the whole video. I actually didn't really use the script, I just made it up as I went along. Um, Jim Kirk's Terrible Idea. Um, this is gonna be a movie. Um, basically what it is, uh, I'll give it to you in a nutshell. Basically, uh, Kirk and Spock are basically relaxing on Earth and they run into zombies. They, um, escape Earth, um, and then eventually Spock gets bitten by a, uh, a zombie obviously, and, um, see, then they have to go back in time to prehistoric times and go to Earth where the antidote was made, because there isn't any in the present time. Staples right here. Hold on. I'll figure it out. I'll fix it later. Um, and then they, like, run into this guy, and they help him get the antidote back, and then, uh, they heal Spock, and then they have to go back. Um, to the future, back to the future, I get it. Um, and then they end up having to go back to Earth. Well, it was actually an accident from a ship that they stole. Um, they sling, they slung, they slingshotted? Or was it slung shot? I don't know, they slung shot, they slingshotted, um, from the, to the Enterprise and back to Earth when they went into the future again. And then they run into zombies, and then it's basically a zombie survival thing. So it's basically a zombie movie. Here's one that I never got to finish. It was, um, Star Wars The 501st Alpha Squad, Episode 1 script. As you can see, I got a bunch of it done, but this is only, this is, um, overall only like an hour long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make an episode 2 script and then just combine them. Because that's definitely a smart thing to do. Um, I made 
two more Epic Films Christmas scripts because my friend was over and we were planning on making um, the video together. And then we ended up not doing that, so I just still have this. Um, the new guys is basically my welcome back because I didn't make videos for a while for some reason. Oh yeah, because I was working on because I was supposedly working on the movie, but trying which I only got. Um, I only got the first scene done. That's all I got done with the first scene. Um, Demon, Catgum style. Yes, I know I misspelled Gongum. Or Gangum, or whatever. It's like, you can never get it right. Um, the Starfleet Haunting. Uh, the, the, that was, that was a good one. Um, Attack of the Ten... Well, Tomatoes 3. Um, this idea I actually got it while I was in school. I just thought of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and I was just messing around. And then, um, Return of the Killer. Like, um, wait, what was it called? Revenge of the Killer Tomatoes popped into my mind. Like a thorough movie. And then, and then I made a poster on it. And then I decided to make a video about it. Oh, I just got to do something. Alright. Um, The Spiked Turbine. That was from a ninja star, so. A forbidden door. That's basically my closet. Feet. I'm about, I was about to go to bed, bed, so. This is my pajamas. Don't laugh at me because I wear still wear pajamas. So, yeah. Kirk is a pirate. I don't know where I came up with this from. Um, the Portable Freezer 9001, um, I was a big fan of over 9000 when I did this, and then, like, I decided, you know what, I have a freezer myself, so I decided to do, so I decided to do, like, a cooler with the name, um, 9001, so then Portable Freezer 9001 came around, I just made that up, guys, I have no idea where the, I got that idea, Kirk goes shopping, and, um, Kirk goes, has a sleepover, Basically, just random pops into my mind. Okay, here are the um music lyrics I got of um Fry Talk. Um, where did I come up with Fry Talk? Well, I had a Friday parody all planned out with Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice in it, and then my uh, parents were like, you know, um, it's actually, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger would just say like Fry Talk or something, cause it's like. Friday in German. I don't know why they came up with German. But then fly it's all like it was actually it's fly So yeah. Um oh my gosh, here's one that you guys didn't like. Toe for Grace. You guys did not like that. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that I'm no longer doing um like, what people ask me to do, because, like, I asked a guy for a suggestion on YouTube, and he told me to give, to make a parody of one of his theme songs. And this is what I came out with it. That was just, that was just the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay, here's one that I enjoyed, um, Come On Battery. It was one of my, um... Come on, Eileen was was one of my favorite songs at the time. I you know what I need, I need to do another music parody. I got a favorite song right now that I'm playing on me that I think I should make a parody on. Also, my friend has some um, parodies he came up with. But I don't know. Um, here's the last thing: the get some flat pack. If you guys do not remember when I made this video, then be glad that you didn't. Oh my gosh, that was a stupid video. Um, it's basically a maze that I even tried to do backwards. And yet, I couldn't even finish, even when I did it backwards. So, that was a bad idea. So yeah, this is basically all the documents that I have. Um... So yeah, as you can see, a lot of them are two pages long, um... I'm going to get started, well, no, not really, um, this coming summer in 2013, I'm probably going to, um, start working on, 
Um, I'm, wor I'm working on this. I'm working on, um, actually two scripts right now, I think. One of them is a remake of, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and basically what I'm doing is that I'm just changing the names, I'm just going through the original script, and I'm changing all the names, and so, that's probably going to take a really long time, but I'm like 13% of the way through, out of 25, so, also eventually I'm probably going to do, um, episode 2 of this, and then probably just combine them, and then just like do that. Jim Kirk's terrible idea. I am looking forward to making this because I th this is gonna be good. Um, another script that I'm working on is um Nero's Revenge, which is basically um a little parody sequel to a uh, Star Trek in which basically um Nero comes back from the dead because like we know because like we know that he's dead and so so um. My idea is that, um, he comes back to life, or something, and, like, we get to see him, and stuff.